subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe to enter this month's shoutout giveaway. Last February, Tori Birch got a gift from her staff to make their 10th anniversary of her first store, a coffee table book chronicling the company's first decade. Every detail was perfectly on brand, from the volume cloth cover in a blue hue called Tori Navy that appears in every collection, to the numerous photos of family and friends. Though it contained few words, the book illustrated perfectly the cornerstone of Birch's success. It's all about storytelling, she said one morning as we sat at the kitchen table in her apartment where the brand began. It's years of stories. This has been Birch's great story strength and true innovation. While she had no formal design training or prior entrepreneurial experience, she spent a decade in PR and marketing, working for Ralph Lauren, Vera Wang, and Narciso Rodriguez. When there's a wonderful story about the product, it tends to resonate with customers, says Neiman Marcus CEO Karen Katz. From the beginning, Tori has understood what women's lives are about. She lived the life herself. She's a busy working mother. She has walked in those shoes. Keep it personal. Birch struggled at the start of her brand's personal nature. It was originally called Tori by TRB. Honestly, I tried to get 10 other different names that had nothing to do with my name, but there were copyright issues, she says. One night, she sat next to the jewelry designer Kenneth J. Lane at a dinner. He said, the name is ridiculous. Change it. He was right. It took me two years, but I changed it. It was a learning experience, and it was especially hard for me because I'm not one to always love being in the spotlight. No other major lifestyle brand so reflects its founder's personal history season after season. Her main muses have been a parents, Buddy and Reva Robinson, and specifically the 1960s and 70s incarnations of them. Birch's anniversary book indicates how important Buddy and Reva have been. Its first spread celebrates Buddy, who died in 2008. The second honors Reva, for whom Birch's famous ballet flats are named. The third, Buddy and Reva. Tori doesn't even appear until page 9, and even then, it's just in a grainy black and white photo with Reva. Buddy and Reva were both stylish dressers who imported inspiration. We took a six-week Mediterranean cruise every summer, Reva recalls. If they had any guilt about leaving the kids with grandma, they bought their way out of it with souvenirs. When especially luggage heavy year, it was a dozen sheepskin coats from Morocco. Though they couldn't have known it then, this helped provide Tori's informal education in global design. Click through her online properties and social media feeds and you'll find numerous products bearing loved ones' as names. Robinson handbags, a picture frame honoring her twin sons, home products named for her grandmother. It all adds up to an unusual sense of access. Consumers worldwide have significant distrust and growing distrust of organizations, says Stanford marketing professor Jennifer Acker. But people do trust people. What she tweets out and blogs about and talks about, it's not just about her clothing. You don't feel sold to. She's very authentic. My son wrote a note when I won the CFD award saying how surprised he was that I beat Mark Jacobs and Michael Kors. <laughs> and I was. Be a good host. When your brand is your name, it's also an invitation to your story. So a great storyteller must be a great host. Haley Boeski, one of Birch's roommates at Penn, recalls that Birch would sit down in the dining hall and she'd pull this really great salad dressing out of her purse, ready to share. Her family farmhouse, 40 minutes from campus, had an open door policy. It didn't matter if it was stray animals or stray people or two people or 50. Boeski says, Tori's family took them in. Reva would house and feed everybody. This instinct pervades the brand of Tori Birch. Over the months I spent shadowing her, there wasn't a day when she didn't ask Asked if I was thirsty or hungry. Often, she didn't wait for me to answer. She'd just fetch water or ask her assistant to order his lunch. I wondered whether it was a mom in her or just a media savvy entrepreneur. But whenever I visited her stores incognito, I even put on grubby clothes to see how shop staff would treat the atypical Tory Birch customer. I encountered similar hospitality. Retail chief Matt Marcotte, whom Birch hired from Apple, says his goal is to make the customer feel better about themselves, whether they buy anything or not. Step into a store, all designed by Daniel Romualdez, who also did Tory's homes and you'll find up many fridges stacked with Coronas, soft drinks and juice boxes plus iPads for non-shopping visitors loaded with Sports Illustrated and games like Angry Birds. The overarching idea, you're Birch's guest, you feel like you're getting a peek inside Tori's house, says Marcotte. It's warm and happy. Offer something for everyone. Tori Birch's social media team has carefully cultivated numerous points of potential connections for customers. Birch is all about the end, says creative director Anna Brody, who oversees the Tory blog and social media. She's a tomboy and she's feminine. She's an entrepreneur and a philanthropist, a mother and a sister. The person who went to Penn and studied art history and the person who loves to play tennis and the person who throws great parties. So consumers can enter the brand all the different ways. I remember hiring the first three employees and now we have 3,200. 
How did Tory Burch build a $1 billion brand so quickly? Patience. The diverse dinner party may be the best metaphor for the strategy that Brody's team deploys daily on the Tory blog. One day, there might be an interview with a musician. Another day, it might be a conversation with an author or something about an artist. People love the entertaining story, flowers, style, that sort of thing. But we often cover philanthropy. Those are our vitamins, which is an essential part of the brand, says Brody, who spent 12 years as a journalist at InStyle. What shreds it all together is that they are all people that Tory finds interesting and Tory finds a lot of things interesting. The heavily visual blog, Instagram, and Pinterest have become particular assets as the brand has sought overseas growth. You don't need to translate a picture, Brody says. For instance, the spring-summer 2014 collection, which was inspired in part by the film La Piscine, the swimming pool, and visions of life in the south of France in the 1960s and 70s, inspired a feature in top 10 pools. And always, always optimism. Tori doesn't like to complain, and she's very optimistic. Her mother is just saying, if the glass is half full, add water, Brody says. Constantly do a gut check. Is this who we are? Does it feel like this? I would never dream of putting anything negative. Leave room for the imagination. Deft editing and careful cropping have been essential to Burgess storytelling. In her social media feeds, carefully considers what not to tell because part of giving good story is leaving room for the recipient to imagine the rest. Last spring's collection featured floral prints inspired by the gardens of her 10-acre Southampton, New York estate. The Tory blog offered glimpses. A boxwood hedge here, a trellised walkway there, but never a wide-angle shot that would show how rarefied it all is. On Instagram, there's a blue and white Delftware vase spilling over with daffodil, the orange blooms of the dwarf poinciana, and one Saturday, an extraordinary bouquet of burgundy peonies. This is how Birch makes luxury accessible. Will I ever have a $16 million Hamptons estate? I can dream, and you can laugh. But a few days later, I was in a flower shop, and I remembered her peonies. There, on the counter, were some just like Tories. I bought them. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.